much. Thank you very much, Chairman. I have to confirm it's all correct. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I am here to present to you the largest transport program which has been created by the European Commission for the period 2014-2020. It's called Connecting Europe Facility. Uh, it amounts to 26 billion euros. Uh, when you compare to the previous program we had for 2007-2013, it's almost it's three times more than more than three times bigger, and this is to be used by you, in fact, to be used by you to meet the challenges which are imposed by SECA. And also, I hope that a big chunk of this can be used for promoting LNG as a new fuel for Europe, especially in maritime transport. We've opened a call which amounts to almost 12 billion and it is available for all modes of transport. However, for maritime transport, for ship owners, for ports, can be used uh, as well. This is the, the time really to use money for, for retrofitting, for going for LNG because the, the conditions have been set. SECA is reality, which knocks on the door within days. There is also a legal obligation for core ports to set up bankering facilities till 2025. Core ports are the, the largest ports uh, in the European Union. And the funding is there the funding is there this year, next year, maybe 2016, but I cannot guarantee you that the funding will be there for the market further on, where the market becomes more mature. So my encouragement is to use it now when the priorities are clear. This is the current situation. Uh, as we've co-founded LNG development in maritime transport before. Uh, so there are already beneficiaries who decided to go for LNG as a maritime fuel. And as you see, most of them are in the northern Europe. That's obvious due to the SECA requirements. However, the gentlemen from the north, southern Europe, from the Mediterranean, are also going on slowly for LNG, even despite the fact that they don't have currently the SECA obligation and to meet 0 0.1 um, emission cap for sulfur. So things happen here and there. In terms of investments, we have 564 in total investments in LNG only, and we've contributed to those investments with 160 million euros. And as you see as well, in SECA, most of them take place, so the figures differ very slightly. However, we co-finance not only LNG, we take everything, we take scrubbers, we have any other technologies you, which you may have in mind and which may deliver what we expect, so a reduction in the emission to the legal cap. For the recent call, there are really a plethora of, of opportunities for motorways of the sea, for innovation, for different ports, for cohesion countries. Use it, I would say, or lose it, or someone else will. So 
don't don't um, lose this opportunity. It's really fantastic, and all those calls amount to over 10 billion euros. Of course, some of them can be also used for um, other modes like innovation, but go for it. For motorways of the sea, we've um, envisaged 250 million plus 100 million for cohesion countries. It's a dedicated call reserved just for those countries which, which qualify. Um, and motorways of the sea is a maritime pillar of, of um, the Connecting Europe Facility Program. Uh, you can apply for works, you can apply for studies, you can apply for studies with pilot actions, and alternative fuels and abutment technologies have been made a priority of that call. Uh, the co-founding rate for works, when you compare with other calls, is slightly different. We offer 30%. And this is due to the fact that we promote international projects involving at least two different entities from two different member states. The key issue, and I understand that most people here may be ship owners, is the upgrade of maritime links. This is the part of the Motorways of the Sea program where you can benefit to retrofit your ship, to go for a mono LNG engine, um, as long as you present it together with two ports which you serve on a regular basis, one of them has to be core, so the biggest one in the EU. One can be comprehensive, so it's also listed, but it's smaller port. And you can get 30% for, um, for those costs which you need to, to, to um, those investments which you need to make happen on, on your ships. We do not provide funding for fleets of vessels. So as a ship owner, you cannot come with a project involving fleets. You have to come with different links which you serve and, and those ports which are related. Uh, the upgrades are limited to additional efforts for environmental purposes. Uh, and the ships have to remain in the EU for at least five years after the end of the project. Then you also have wider benefit actions here, um, which are reserved for groups of, of entities, group of beneficiaries, like group of ports, which want to come together in order to create LNG bunkering facilities. And then those works can be financed also with 30%. Then we co-fund mature studies. However, they have to be mature. There's no feasibility, no market studies which we look into anymore. And an example of such studies can be bunkering safety procedures for ships, for instance. Neighboring countries are also eligible for funding here. So this is a message for our Norwegian friends, for instance. We cannot fund your um, hard investments, works. However, you are more than welcome to participate in studies. And last but not least in that program, we have pilot actions, or as we call them, studies with pilot activities, uh, where you can propose new solutions, new innovative technological solutions for retrofitting ship engine, or testing new LNG engines, and so on. There are particular requirements for pilot actions, as we've already taken aboard a couple of those, and we believe that everybody would like to have a higher co-funding rate, which is 50% for those actions. However, not everybody can be a pilot action. You, you need to meet really strict requirements for those projects, 
at least it must be a new technological solution. It has to be something which is not sufficiently present in the market. There must be an EU added value. And we talk about limited sc scale and reasonable price here, not everything which, which um, high, high budgets. And then you have to share the results which you obtain with other stakeholders. So this is publicly available. There are more, but uh, of course you can, you can consult those things in our call papers. Uh, the innovation priority or, or call uh, offers 160 million. This is for all modes of transport, plus 130 million for cohesion countries. There's also an annual call, a smaller, for those ports which are, which are smaller, and it's 20 million. Uh, we support works with 20%, studies with 50%, and up to 85% again for cohesion countries. Uh, rollout of alternative fuel and reduction of emissions has been made a priority in that call as well. Then for ports, maybe there are also port representatives and who want to go for LNG facilities. This is the largest budget uh, for, for all modes, 5.5 billion, for the so-called pre-identified core network corridor sections, and ports are sometimes listed there as well. It's all in an annex of, of uh, the Connecting Europe Facility Regulation. I don't want to go into detail, but you need to do some effort to, to read uh, if, if you are covered by that annex or not. If you are, then you have access to, to more millions, billions. If, if you are not, then you can uh, still apply for, um, for 250 million or for comprehensive port uh, calls, which I'll talk about later. Uh, we found here also studies with 50%, um, and for works we offer 20%, so slightly lower than motorways of the sea. And alternative fuel and energy infrastructure in ports is again made a priority. We talk here about construction of bunkering terminals, acquisition of bunkering barges, which we also consider part of port infrastructure, not superstructure, exceptionally, and design study for bunkering facilities, for example. Mm. It's never been more money than now for ports, in fact. And a single port can apply here, which is also important. <laughs> then, for the smaller ports, we've envisaged 250 million uh, for works and studies. And again, alternative fuel energy infrastructure is a priority. If you are not core or comprehensive port, I'm deeply sorry for you but it's not cohesion, connecting Europe facility where you should apply for co-funding, but rather, rather look elsewhere. There are regional uh, development funds and so on. Uh, there is anyway a life outside connecting Europe facility. Connecting Europe facility is um, reserved for, for the biggest players, so to speak, which are supposed to revolutionize the transport solutions in Europe. This is the call um, timetable. It's open till the 26th of February at 5 p.m. Ponklish. <coughs> so please apply. We'll do evaluations from March till April 2015. And we hope that we can move to signing individualized grant agreements as of September 2015. Uh, it's just a flavor of, of what we have to offer. If, if you are interested, make your people work on the documents of the call, because this is important to, to read. Maybe it's a bit of bureaucracy, but if you go to a bank to apply for a loan, Believe me, you may have even more papers to deal with that we require in our calls. Uh, if you don't have time, make consultants work for you. There are also people who offer such services. Um, 
if you have good project ideas but you are not sure if you can apply, talk to us. Um, we, we are there to help. And use it or someone else will. But we are trying to create something to, to help you meet the SECA requirements and also revolutionize the perception of, of maritime transport in the, in the society. Thank you very much for your attention.